Okay, welcome uh, to practice questions. This particular topic is on karyotype and non-disjunction. This is uh, questions one to three, page 17 on your uh, student package unit four, of course. Okay, so let's get right to the question here. Uh, this, of course, as soon as we see this, we should recognize that this is a karyotype. The only thing that might throw you off with this karyotype is this karyotype is uh, a picture where they separate the homologous chromosomes in their pairs. And what we're looking for is that it's a diagnostic tool to examine whether or not there's the correct pairing of those homologous chromosomes. Now, in this case, the thing that might throw you off is sometimes the chromosome shows up like this, where you can distinctly see the two sister chromatids like that. Or sometimes they show up just kind of looking like they're just one chromatid, just the way that the uh, formatted or the die showed with the... Uh, with the actual picture, but nonetheless, all karyotypes will show homologous pairs, whether they show up with where you can see the two individual sister chromatids or not. So uh, they are arranged by size, so pair one will be larger than pair 22, okay? But we're still looking for pairing. So homologous chromosomes, again, are very similar, having the same genes at the same locus, but they will be not identical, not identical because they might have different forms or different alleles of the same gene. Okay, so we can take a look here and what we're looking at karyotypes. Now it's not gonna tell you if there's any gene abnormalities because it's not looking at genes. It's just simply looking at chromosomal numbers according to the homologous pairs to see and ensure that the pairs are intact. So if we take a look at number one, there's two pairs, that's correct. We look at two, correct, correct. Keep on going, but all of a sudden we notice at 18 that it's no longer a pair. It's actually three of them, a trisonomy, right? So uh, we know that this is going to create a genetic disorder. Now, always on these karyotypes, just to go through this, they'll always show the sex chromosomes. I covered up the Y there. But they'll always show the sex chromosomes right at the end of the karyotype, okay? And in this case, we can see that this particular individual has an XX sex chromosome making this individual a female, okay? They have nothing on the Y. So of course, if it was a male, you would see a hook-shaped chromosome on the Y and then just one of the Xs that would make them a male, okay? So that's just kind of taking a bit of a uh, analysis of just the information they gave us before we actually looked at the question. It's always a good idea. You're gonna start pulling out these files that contain information about karyotypes and hopefully it'll pull out the, or give you the ability to come up with the right answers here. Now this particular question, remember we always said to keep track of how many questions this particular piece of information pertains to. And this one said three questions. So that's always a, a good idea to take a look at that. So take a look at the first question. According to this karyotype, this individual is, or has, let's go through it, one less autosome than normal, so one less. Now again, uh, when we talk about autosomal chromosomes, that's all the chromosomes listed on this karyotype from one to 22. Those are all autosomal. And then we have, at the end, two sex chromosomes, okay? So does it have one less autosomal? No, we just said that this was a trisomy where it had an extra autosomal chromosome. And again, it's on the 18th, that makes that autosomal, not on the sex. So that can't be true. Then it says one more autosomal than normal, and that one looks to be true. You can see that instead of just the two on the 18, the two homologous pairs, we have an extra. Uh, and of course, one more sex chromosome, that's not true. Uh, one less sex chromosome, that's not true. So we can see here that our answer is B. Now, when that occurred, that's question number two. So it says, uh, this unusual number of chromosomes is the result of synapse during gameto or gametogenesis. Gametogenesis is just the general term for producing gametes. So we know that we have spermatogenesis and oogenesis are more specific. But during synapse of that, nope. During crossover, no. Crossover contributes as we've seen in a previous teaching video, crossover contributes to genetic diversity. It does not contribute to uh, an abnormal number of chromosomes. Non-disjunctions, we should recognize that term immediately. 
So non-disjunction occurs during meiosis, but during the formation of gametes, okay? So what happens with non-disjunction? We said instead of those homologous chromosomes separating on opposite poles, one of them gets pulled over. And in this case, it was on the 18th homologous pair. It got pulled over and contributed to an abnormal number of chromosomes. So non-disjunction is our correct answer. Uh, lack of cytokinesis, if you remember cytokinesis, is just the actual splitting of the cytoplasm has nothing to do with the chromosomes. Okay, and let's look at the last question really quick here. How many chromosomes would be in this individual's liver cell? We know liver cells are somatic cells. We know somatic cells are always 2N. Okay, so in a normal, okay, so for a normal individual, we know that all our somatic cells contain 46, uh, 46 total chromosomes. But in this particular case, there was an extra chromosome on the 18th. So we have a variable to show that. Sometimes you might see this appear on an exam. But we know that normally it's 2n, right, equals 46. But when we have an extra, we show it in the variable 2n plus 1 equals 47. That means in every somatic cell of this individual female, and we know she's a female, every single cell, somatic cell in her body will contain not 46, but 47 total chromosomes. And that leads us to this answer right here. Okay, so any issues with any of this, uh, with any of these questions, just give me an email and we will uh, uh, address them together. Okay, thanks, bye.